Hi everyone, it's Craig here from Pure Dead Gaming and tonight I'm going to have a look at WrestleQuest which is an upcoming wrestling themed turn based RPG that looks fucking awesome. I've been really excited to check it out and a demo dropped on Steam. Its release is expected later this year but could easily fall into 2023 I think. But Look, we've got a demo here, we can check it out right now, and that's what I want to do. So let's just jump right in. Don't really know what to expect from this game. I know they've got a decent amount of wrestlers behind it. Obviously we can see straight away here, Randy Savage, Coco Beware, Jake the Snake, Andre the Giant. I believe the guy in the middle is the main character that you play as Sergeant Slaughter, Legion of Doom, there's a statue of Jeff Jarrett which is just borderline appalling but we'll let it go. So let's go. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. It's the Toy Miniatures. It's a podcast chorus that's introducing us. Can you take a DVD? Well, we'll have to find out, Jake. I mean, perhaps we can take a DDT, perhaps, perhaps we can. It'll probably depend on our HP at the time. What? DDP making an intro? tell you something, DDP gets a bad rep, but he had one full line there and he didn't mention his yoga once, so fair fucks. And Jeff Jarrett didn't even say he was great, so I mean, what more can we ask for so far? We've even got podcast legend Conrad Thompson on the ones and twos, along with DDP, Jake and Jeff Jarrett at Podcast HQ. Two heroes we say. Right, so I mean straight away here, awesome art style, looks really cool, clearly a wrestling entrance way, who are we going to get? The next match is set for one fall, from Columbus, Ohio, he's 6 foot 2, 237 pounds, that'll be savage. The Macho Man, Randy Savage! Oh yeah, look at him, now he's glory there. That is a 1992 Randy Savage hat. And I can dig it. See straight away stuff like cream rising to the top. The dialogue's good. The dialogue is fitting with Randy Savage, which is awesome. And it appears we're up against uh, Stone Age Cotton. So perhaps Steve Austin was not up for appearing in the game. And he wants us to forfeit, which is not going to happen. So I predict a Barney. And not a Barney the Dinosaur, like this lad. A uh, fight. Oh, sorry, he's a lizard. I'll take it back. Ooh, yeah. 
I love these all year. Oh yeah. Explosives don't scare me. I'm Randy fucking Savage. And a crowd goes wild. You can't tell Randy Savage that he can't win. I mean, for fuck's sake, know your role. Oh, elbow drop time. I love his me, can you dig it? Right, instantly here I'm a little bit concerned because this says young Randy Santos and I believe Randy Santos is who you play as so fair enough but why in his mugshot there does he look like a paedophile in training? That is not the look of a young boy. Not one bit. Hello. And he appears to have a friend that is a green elephant. And another one that's made of Lego. So he's, he's doing well as uh, Randy here. Maybe he's trying to make friends with the kids' toys so that he can get into the kids. Oh, we've got a robot as well, that's nice. Why is it a good thing that it's not a plastic mattress? What is happening on the mattress? Peanuts, little. Hello. Oh, come on, peanuts. That is absolutely not fake. Unbelievable. Just met this little green fucking stain, and he's hitting us with the wrestling is fake pish. You tell him, Randy. It's watch your mouth, know your role. Lego's not happy. Everyone knows it's real peanuts. Oh my god. Peanuts has just buried the the robot. Todd, the robot's fucking buried six feet under because he's a counterfeit toy, what the fuck? Exactly. Shut up, Todd. Fucking hell. There's a case to be made for Billy in here. Oh, several years later, so that was the origin story of uh, young Randy who has now transformed himself into a Mexican John Morrison by the looks of it, so that's good. Dreams do come true. Cool Macho Man poster. I really like the detail. There's lots of... Uh, I don't think you can interact with this stuff, but it's it's cool. Oh, I'll take that back. So I know that this game does involve like a lot of like, loot and stuff like that, so... I mean, I've not found it so far, but that is pretty fucking cool that you can go about raiding lockers and stuff like that. 
I like that. It'd help if it was something in them right enough, but... I mean, it is a demo. We'll, we'll cut it some slack. Right, so I think we're going this way. Oh, Johnny Stretch is wanting me in the ring. Don't want to disappoint Mr. Stretch. So I have to help the rookies, which appears to be a guy that looks a little bit like a non-Mexican John Morrison with foam fingers. Uh, and then on the outside it appears that we've got Poundland, John Moxley, and Poundland, Austin Creed, or Xavier Woods. So that's interesting. That's interesting because I have often been referred to as a coiled spring of excitement and clearly have the most electrifying YouTube channel in existence, so he's nailed me there. Spear Chan. Right, so I guess this is going to be our introduction to the combat, which I'm very excited to find out about because this is going to be what either makes or breaks the game for me, to be honest. Like, I don't usually like turn-based gameplay, but if I can if I can get down with it, then I'm going to fucking love this game. I can already tell. So let's pack the strikes. So we press down. Down again. Select the guy. If you strike, you can deal extra damage if you're able to match the button prompt. Nice. Okay. How do you block? Or do you not block? So I should say I'm using just a keyboard tonight. I didn't have a controller to hand, so... Knocking them into ropes, you'll have a chance to do a follow-up attack. Do it now. Okay. Oh, my height meter is completely full down here. My height meter is higher than Jeff Hardy's alcohol level right now. Gimmick time. It's definitely gimmick time. Is there no way to block this guy's moves? South of the border stunner. The rest are greyed out. Oh, pin. You can obviously pin people. Right, let's go for this south of the border stunner then. Nice. Oh man, you had to do that really fast. Guess I still got some of the moves. Hmm, <laughs> so we saw that in the menu, but you'll have to pin them. That's interesting. Okay, so let's hit a strike. Oh shit. Right, 
mate, so he's ready to be pinned. I like how the ref comes flying in. To successfully pin them, you'll have to hit the button when the indicator is in the green zone. Oh, you've got to do it three times. Nice! I like that a lot, actually. Complete with the ref. Just fucking Superman in it straight out of the ring. See, that's a great idea for a mechanic, that. Like, if you fuck it up, then obviously your opponent kicks out and he recovers some hell. As if he hulks up. I mean, mini hulk up. Very fucking cool. Yeah, big fan of that. Right, so not everyone needs pin then, just some. I'm loving the presentation here, it's just really fucking cool. Big Randy Santos is height meters through the roof, mate, don't you worry about it. Oh yeah, got a wee run fast button here. I'm guessing they don't have the rights to him, but that is a fucking thousand percent Brock Lesnar over here, isn't it? Maxim Anarchy. Maxim mm, Anarchy. It seems like it's quite in depth this and it it genuinely seems cool as fuck so far. It seems like they've really they've really thought about this system. And um I'm actually really feeling it. So this is some potential ladder match perhaps? Very cool. Hmm. I know it means nothing hitting that, but it's still cool. What's uh, John Moxley got to say? who he wants to be. British Bulldog thing there. Boom. Baby oil. Fuck's sake, Leonard, get your head on straight. Embarrassing the shit out yourself. Aye, piss off Leonard, idiot. Oh, oh, you can cut promos, that's interesting. Mm, 
Wow, well played, mate. That was fucking dreadful. Uh, go with that one. Yeah, slam dunk there. Nailed it again. Oh, come on. How could it not be diabetes? Diabetes is hilarious. Objection, Your Honour. with extreme wrestling. When he says he needs help with his gimmick, he better not be talking about his cock. No, yeah, cool, okay. So I need to find a Randy Savage statue. I'm guessing I go back to where I started. And there must be an exit. I would definitely be able to control this with a controller, but I did not plug one in and therefore I'm stuck using a keyboard like it's fucking 1994. There's the Macho Man statue. Nice. Some amount of fan services went into this, like, you can tell there's a lot of love for wrestling in this, like, it's not just been a, oh, this would be something different, like, this looks like a right fucking proper passion project, and it's really coming through when you play it, like, I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far, I really am. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to go over 30 minutes, I'm going to end the, stre uh, the stream, I'm going to end the video fairly soon, but we'll try and get a couple of minutes in here and see what this guy's wanting. He looks a little bit like a more sober Jeff Hardy. Poor Jeff, that's the second thing I've taken that at him, and I don't mean it, I like the guy. It's just topical, isn't it? Hopefully there's somebody that looks exactly like Vince McMahon in it, and he's just over in a bush, pumping a secretary. I think this guy should go dark and brooding. Looks like a better fit to me. The writers. <laughs> You've got to keep Big Disco Dave happy. If you don't keep Disco Dave happy, your career's fucked. Okay. Face paint shop. Oh. Oh. 
the Wrestle Raider doesn't look pleased. Am I going to have to fight this dork? Looks like one half of the Viking Raiders. Let's just start with a strike. Oh, two beautiful blows. I wonder if there is a way to... to block any of that stuff. Oh, he's down. Let's get my pin on. Yes! Victory is very much indeed mine. Oh yeah! I've spotted a little chest over here. A fucking elbow pad, are you kidding? Is that supposed to be a joke? A table, there's only one way through one of these tables. See, so if there's a table blocking your path, you have to go and find a table spot token. Right, okay. Uh, this way. Oh, here we go. There you go. Double table spot. Just have a quick look and see what's up here first before we hit. Oh, there's another one. Action figure speedos. Okay. This material almost writes itself. It's almost too easy, so I'm going to let that one slide. But it sounds like there's going to be some pretty good customer uh, character customization here. What the fuck with this? Oh, nice. See, again, cool mechanic. Like, they can set up blocks, uh, kind of roadblocks almost, but you've got a way to get through it. More war paint. Big Randy Santos to the rescue. Am I, I don't know if I'm just going daft here, but I, I feel like I can't see the opponent's health, which is a bit off-putting. Let's hit my stunner. Oh, he's down. It's pin time. Boom! Get that right up you. Almost to level 4 already. I've basically platinumed this game. I know it's only a demo and it's on PC, but I'm pretty fucking awesome at this. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I am actually a superhero. Channeling a wee bit of Macho Man there. Ooh, 
most of the road warriors are the baddies, the heels. Do you know, I mean, this wouldn't be the first time or the second time or the third. You get the point. It wouldn't be in the first 50 times. But I am a fucking idiot. And it's only dawned on me when they said between Goth and Surfer that that guy that I called Jeff Hardy, it's fucking meant to be Sting. Clearly, it is meant to be Sting. And I am a complete moron. Right, okay, let's get this face paint back to old Steve Borden and wrap up this first impressions let's play. Gotta say, I'm absolutely loving this. I really am. Brilliant stuff. Awesome art style. It just, it looks fucking cool. It's got loads of fan service. The gameplay... Like the combat is really fun, which I was absolutely not expecting. Like this is just fucking awesome from start to finish. <laughs> I prefer. Attitude era sting, but I'm gonna say surfer sting. Early late eighties, early nineties surfer sting. Nice. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a call this a let's play right here went roughly about just under 35 minutes and this game is fucking awesome it's really really cool i'm so impressed with it i really am like i say the one thing i was worried about was the gameplay the combat but so far it seems really cool and there's obviously so much more to explore with they were hinting at table matches uh, at ladder matches like what is the dynamic going to be in with stuff like that but even without that like the special moves the fact that you have to pin your opponent the fact that if you mess up the pin then they get held back like it's it's a really fucking cool mechanic and there's so much fan service to old school wrestling which is always going to score points for me because I love that stuff and yeah i'll be, I'll be going to be playing more of this demo but i mean this is now an absolute stick on day one day one play for me absolutely whenever it comes out i mean there's not a date yet and um, they had initially said summer 2022 i don't think they're still planning to hit that and there has been a little bit of chat about maybe 2023 but after playing this small amount take as long as you need because this is the chance to be something really special i think and i am very very excited for it so if you have watched this video and have any opinions feel free to leave a comment if you'd like to talk about it more then maybe hit us up on twitter at pure dead gaming you can come and join our discord which you will find a link to in the bio of our twitter account and i'll also be talking about this on our podcast which drops every thursday at 3 p.m uk time and yeah thanks very much for watching guys and i will catch you all very soon goodbye